Hello, and welcome to the ground truth testing for Gigapixel AI. For those of you who are not familiar with the term ground truth testing, ground truth testing means every time a developer develops an algorithm like the Gigapixel AI algorithm, which is based on machine learning, what you want to do is take a high resolution photograph, like the one that we're looking at right now, reduce that uh, resolution of that photo, like in this case, we are going to reduce it by one fifth of its original size, and then apply the technology to that low resolution photo as you upscale it back to its original resolution. So this photograph over here, as we get a little closer to it, here we are in Photoshop. Okay, here it is one to one on the screen. And the resolution of this image is currently, as you can see right here, uh, 3,777 by 5,800 pixels. So that's the ground truth. That's what we're starting out with. And now here is the down resed version of that photo. So now please keep in mind that we're looking at an image which is 25 times less information than what we started out with because it's been scaled um, five times less, both horizontally and vertically. So that's the image that we're starting out with. And here are the results from Gigapixel AI. Now here's where things get actually really, really exciting because if you look at the center of the pupil um, of the eye, you could see the silhouette of the photographer as they hold their camera in a portrait orientation. And that's exactly what Gigapixel AI sees here at the center of the eye as well. It's actually seeing the portrait of the photographer. Now, where things get scary is when you start comparing that to ground truth. So here is ground truth, meaning that this is the original high resolution information versus what Gigapixel just created from 1 25th the amount of data that we had started out with. So let's toggle quickly back and forth between those two. Here's the original photo versus Gigapixel AI. Original versus Gigapixel AI. It's really hard to tell which one is which, especially when you zoom back just a little bit further as you toggle back and forth. It becomes almost impossible to tell which one is which as I toggle back and forth between the two of them. Now I'm gonna show you both the, the positive parts of this image where Gigapixel really shines, but I'm also gonna show you some of the areas where it actually suffers, which does make sense because of course, if you are gonna be working with um, 1 25th of the data that you had started out with, obviously there's gonna be some problems where it's not gonna be absolutely perfect. But it tries to get as close as it can to it. As we look at the low resolution uh, photo, there's this one little strand of hair, as you can see right there. It's a very thin little strand of hair. And also you can see how well Gigapixel recovers that strand of hair that's going across her face. So now let's compare that to ground truth. So here is the original high res photo where you can see once again that one little strand of hair versus Gigapixel AI. Now this is really exciting because as I again toggle back and forth between the two of them, especially when I zoom out, okay, man that's amazing. They look practically identical to one another as you go back and forth. Let's do that just one more time for another part of the photo. Let's actually look at um, her lips. Okay, we'll get a little closer over here and we toggle back and forth. Here's Gigapixel AI. Here's Ground Truth. Gigapixel, Ground Truth. And as you zoom away from it at one to one, it becomes almost impossible to tell which one is the gigapixel results because they look so similar to one another. And things always get exciting the moment that you turn on the low res version of the image. So this is all the information that it has to work with and it gener as it generated this higher resolution file right here. And then finally, since I promised you I would show you areas where it doesn't really act correctly, let's go to some little detailed areas of the netting that's around her head. So again, here is ground truth. And what's amazing about this part of the uh, photo is there's these really fine little details of the netting patterns. And I want you to see that the larger holes and the larger netting patterns, Gigapixel is doing a remarkable job of recovering those details. But when it comes to these little fine details that are right here at the center, you can see that Gigapixel is um, having a tough time resolving those fine details. And that's mainly because the moment you switch over to the low res version, Oh my gosh, there's like practically nothing there, right? 
It is just a lack of information. There's nothing there. And it's taking that very pixelated result and is generating that from it. All right, here again, there's ground truth. There's Gigapixel AI. And that's how you can see the difference between what Gigapixel does and what the original high-res photo does. It is really remarkable to keep that in mind that the results versus the original high-res photo are really, really similar. And also when you realize that the amount of upscaling that we're doing right now is pretty dramatic, okay? Being at 25 times more information is really a huge amount of upscale. Thank you very much for watching.